Just outside town, an angry miner, Andrew Pope by name, picked up his pickaxe one last time before he left his claim. And the wall before him crumbled where his dreams had all been sealed, and his cries rang through the canyons as the legend was revealed. All these months, it's got to be here. Talbot, we're nowhere near full. Taking the job means making the delivery on time. No matter how big or small, they're all important. None more and none less. Now slap some leather, George. Time's a wasting. Yes, sir. Just in time, Talbot, we used to call him. We could always depend on him. Mark, all done, it's been hit. Mother old. Now, old Sam Malloy. Even with another story. There was no love lost between those two. It's been hit, mother -in. I mean to make it mine, ours. Someone's got to haul it to the mill, and it's going to be us. Talbot's not going to get it this time. The law man needed to be tough as nails back then. Halsey! You're fixing to mess with Sam Malloy again, ain't you? He tore into town like a spurred drunk. He never moves that fast unless he's up to something. I'm going to find out what. Well, be careful. Tells me this is gonna be one heck of a day. She was right. Thanks, Grandma. Um, were you there, Grandpa? Smack dab in the middle of it. And I'll tell you, boy, the legend of Jesse James ain't nothing compared to the legend of White Gold. Looks like trouble. Easy, Deputy. I gotta wire the marshal in Dillon Springs. What's that? Shh! You want the whole town in here? What's the verdict? This is a hardy dug for a base. 54% air dried fiber. It's mighty bright, too. It's pretty strong to me. Is that it? the true test is in the repulpin. Fast. Instant. It's as quick as a wink. Chunks left is pure fiber. Ready to use. 100% genuine. This pulp's as good as gold. This is what Malloy's after. them words. It's your call, Mr. Malloy. It's time to put all your cards on the table. Who's got my gold? One at a time, you idiots! Who's got my gold over the answer? Business before pleasure, Talbot. 
About that same time, Corey, I told Mr. Pope that he and Mr. Talbot should get together. Of course, Sam Malloy had other ideas. <laughs> Stranger, name's Malloy. You might be needing some hauling, I hear. You don't need your kind of business, Mr. Malloy. Get out of this, deputy! Mr. Malloy, I'd appreciate you stepping aside. Sooner or later, you'll be looking for me. Talbot. I'm Pope. I thought this might interest you, Mr. Talbot. Be careful, Fred. You thought right, Mr. Pope. Looks like white gold. White gold? That's just what we'll call it. The litter's round the clock. Any time, day or night. It repulps completely. And in seconds. Their fame spread like a westward wind across the dusty plain. Tub fur makes it stronger than any other pulp in the territory. Hmm. Two mills from Maine to Portland hail the Pope and Talbot name. No bales to undo, no time consuming wires or pallets. I can't believe it. Three pulping was like lightning, because their pulp was fair and fine. People get there just when you need it. Never too soon, never too late. They work side by side with a customer. Lowers inventory and cuts production costs. The whole system can be tailor made to fit any operation. And when deadlines got too frightening, they delivered just in time. Why go? Why go? I don't think I will either, Mr. Town. <laughs> Say your pulp is perfect for newsprint, doesn't tear, is bright. Strong as White Earp's word, and you can promise to deliver just in time, every time? A word on it. Name's Willard Cooper. Run a mill into Duval territory in a newspaper. And I need your white gold for newsprint, and I need it by noon tomorrow. The mill shuts down. High noon, Mr. Cooper. High noon, Mr. Pope. You get a deal, Mr. Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never make it. Cooper's bookkeeper couldn't believe it, but it was meant to be. Pope and Talbot. Nice ring to it. That was some story, Grandpa. It ain't over yet. Things got real rough for Pope and Talbot. You sure you're man enough to go on? You bet, Grandpa. I can take it. Okay, okay. Hang on to your britches, Corey. Here we go. Now, Malloy, he was just bent on keeping our heroes from making that delivery. Now you got that? Okay, boss. Say we get Pope's white gold. How are we gonna deliver it? We got a wagon. You gotta go with the grain, boss. I know that! Well, Talbot's got the system. It's like a pipeline right to the mill. So we plug it. Yeah, the Talbot can get the stuff there just in time. Never too soon, never too late. Yeah, well... Maybe this time he gets it there never. At all. What, what do, do you, you mean, mean, boss? Follow me. Take this, Fred. They'll be laying for you out there. Man, my business is all in, not shooting. 
Be careful, Fred. Come in up. I gotta go. Me and Pope, we got a real run ahead of us. Well, howdy, Miss Amanda. George! Settle my horse. Ma'am. Halsey, no. You can't stop Malloy alone. I got it, Lavinia. The marshal can't get here till late tomorrow, or then it'll be too late. I can't let those snakes stop Pope and Talbot. Don't do anything foolish, Halsey. Snakes. You're not making a move without me behind you. Stop it. I got a feeling we're being watched. It'll take the last hour or so. We do. Ride like the wind, because the cliff's gonna blow any second. Indians a bad name. Now drop your guns. And take off your boots. But there's thorns out here. At least three, as far as I can tell. Killing me. Just a rattler. <clears throat> Done. think we could be hurt bad we gotta take the time and we gotta take the gold it's all over boys you could say that again mr malloy cross them over here boys oh Talbot, i believe you have a delivery to make thank you deputy Yet. We're with you, Mr. Cooper. <laughs> Time's almost up. I don't know. Not much time left, Mr. Cooper. My money's on him.
Time's just about up. I told you they couldn't make it, Mr. Cooper. him riding to the rescue on a horse. As far as Pope and Talbot, well, the newspaper your grandpa reads, it's made of white gold. Wow. A sorry, Grandpa. I really did like the story, especially the end. You see, Corey, that's the point. There is no end to the Pope and Talbot story. About due again, right, Halsey? Yep. Just in time. Tell you the tale about Hope and Pelvin and the great railroad delivery? Halsey, you just never quit. Well, neither do Pope and Talbot. So it all began in Cowtown. About the time you were born, Corey. Sheriff Halsey sat to tell the tale that his grandson knew full well. How the 1840s gold rush stroke some good men straight through hell. But some men's hands seemed guided by a light somewhere above, like the good Lord had decided where to start the legend of white gold, white gold. Just outside town, an angry miner, Andrew Pope by name. Picked up his pickaxe one last time before he left his claim And the walls before him crumbled where his dreams had all been sealed And his cries rang through the canyons as the legend was revealed White gold, white gold In dusty gold spread Talbot was a wagon man by tree his motto, just in time, each time delivery is me. On this day, young Pope came riding, they heard each other's name. In a town too small to hide in, we're in business the next day. Ride Talbot, ride, you'll always remember. That Amanda's last words were, I love you, but dangers and soul. With Pope by your side, he's cool as September. He knows a man left alive means they've got to arrive on time. White gold, white gold, white gold. Their fates ran like a westward wind across a dusty plain. From Maine to Portland, hail the Pope and Talbot name. Repulp 
Something was like lightning Cause their pulp was fair and fine And when deadlines got too frightening They delivered just in time White gold White gold White gold Yeah! Well, do we get it? Mm, got something. <laughs>